I'll be honest with you, these guys kind of grind my gears. Their stuff is just always just, uh Find out what this year's best G2 wireless battery pack is. I bought 20 plus of them, tortured the USB-C port, melted my iPhone by doing wireless charging sprints, reviewer, not influencer, and also I had to figure out how to do some coding in order to drain the packs in iPhone consistently. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour, 38.7 watt hour capacity uh, battery bank. Comes in a variety of different PDOs, as well as a PPS uh, protocol. About half the battery packs I've tested don't have PPS. This thing has one USB-C port and as you can see, there's a bunch of little dots to indicate battery level. In terms of voltage, accuracy, and stability, this thing is a little bit above average, actually quite a bit above average. Generally means the hardware is decent in this pack. Now my real world discharge testing did run into a couple of issues, as the maximum wattage for this pack is 30 watts, but it only holds it for a little bit. For my testing, this thing shuts off around 40 degrees Celsius. So if you're running the pack at max speeds, yeah, it's gonna die around this temperature. But here's the thing, when it comes to charging your devices, it's never gonna pull 30 watts. The charge curve is like this, not this. On average, I pulled 28.1 watt hours from this pack, which is the highest amount of watt hours out of all the 10K battery banks I have for the T2 uh, Roundup. When it came to recharging, this thing took over two hours to fill the bank. It took 43.4 watt hours to fill. I do wish this pack was a little faster as other 10K battery packs, 90 minutes. When it came to a wireless uh, Qi2 charging, I pulled an average of about three watt hours in about 30 minutes or 22%. Average is 21, so a little bit above average. Now, in order to give the uh, iPhone three watt hours of uh, power, this thing had to uh, consume 5.6 watt hours to do that. So the wireless efficiency is 55%. That is below average. When it came to uh, thermals for the product, during the wired discharge, it hit 41 degrees Celsius, and during the max uh, wireless charging, it hit only 53 degrees Celsius. So really nothing to write home about in terms of thermals. The battery pack's gonna add 208 grams to uh, the weight of your iPhones, so depending on which iPhone you have, it could be a little bit of weight or a lot of, lot of weight. Build quality-wise, this thing is spectacular. From my perspective, metal uh, edges, and there's a bit of chamfering around the uh, bottom edge, and so it just adds a bit of class to this product. I reviewed a ton of different battery packs and they're just all kind of really blah. But this one just looks very, very nice. It feels very nice though. The back will scratch a little easier than other products. In terms of magnetic strength, it takes 10.2 newtons to push the uh, battery pack off and 24.2 newtons to pull it off. So that's not great, but I'm still pretty comfortable doing this with my regular sized iPhone. Would I do it with my iPhone? Whoa, yeah, no, wouldn't do it as much with my uh, Pro Max. In terms of price, this is gonna set you back $80. So it's slightly above average in terms of price, but performance wise, it's slightly above average as well. This product is the only one that I would feel comfortable using for both wireless and for wired uh, charging needs. The hardware for uh, wired charging in this battery pack is decent enough that for with uh, 10,000 milliamp hours, you could easily power tablets or small laptops with it in a pinch. Would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? Yeah, I would. I'm gonna mention to figure out what the best G2 battery packs are. I'm almost done all the product testing. Um, I've got one left, one showed up uh, late last week. It took like four weeks to show up. Um, but if you're planning on getting this product, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in top five. Make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Don't care who you go with. I just care that you get the best accessories for your tech. Thanks for watching.